good. Uh, yeah, when the storms of life are raging, I want the Lord to stand by me. When I am going through a crisis, I need the Lord to stand by me. When COVID is all around me, I need the Lord to stand by me. Somebody ought to be a witness. Yeah, the boat was far from land. Yeah, and the wind became contrary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bad thing was that they were in a storm. Yeah, but it gets worse because they were in a storm without Jesus. It's bad to be in a storm without Jesus. Yeah. It's bad to be in a storm without the king of kings and the lord of lords. It's bad to be in a storm without the one who says I am that I am. Yeah, yeah, they couldn't run down and say master the tempest is raging. They were not able to have anybody to say, peace be still. I tell you, my brothers and sisters, if you got to go through a storm, you better make sure that, that Jesus is on your boat. Do I have a witness in the building? They were in a storm. And they were without Jesus. They were struggling among themselves. They were calling among themselves. They were straining among themselves. Without Jesus. Bad news. It's raining. Bad news. It's pouring. Bad news. The wind is blowing. Bad news. The boat is rocking. Bad news. They're being tossed and driven. Oh, but I'm so glad that that's not how the story is. I've got some good news. The Bible says that in the fall, watch of the night. That when I can't see my way, I call on the Lord, and the Lord steps in just when I need Him. When I was down to my last step, I called on the Lord, and the Lord stepped in just when I need Him.
okay introducing to everybody oh my goodness is your mic on no nah, it, it, it you might have muted it let's see hold on hit it do it one more time check 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 is there we, we go on? oh my gosh go. hold on y'all hold on everybody <laughs> stop paul stop hold on uh okay let, let, let's just introduce who we have here today Introduce. Matter of fact, I want to make sure I say this right, because I've heard you clown some people online and let them know how to say your name correctly. Yes, sir. Is it Stefan? Yes, sir. That's it. I get it. That's I it. Get That's it. it. I'm safe. Come I'm on, safe. If not, I was gonna have a haymaker over here. <laughs> Let's give him a hand. <laughs> <laughs> so look, y'all. Hey, this man. Yeah, he, he's blazing on the organ. So we got Stefan Goodwin out of uh, North Carolina. He's gonna be with us for several tutorials. Uh, thank you for your subscriptions. Keep, uh, keep subscribing. Keep getting the memberships. Why? Because I'm able to bring in more people. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is one of the ones I know that y'all, hey, man, you need to get him on there. And I was like, I, I heard you. So we, wow. we're going to try. So we that. thank God for him coming. Uh, very humble mindset, but at the same time, a killer on the organ. Uh, on the keys, and so what we're gonna do now? We we about to get into it. Yes, sir. I, a lot of people have. You had a really good clip on Instagram that everybody's like, "Man, you was." And, and look, we're gonna get into it. You was doing the organ, mm -hmm. but then you gave us some new age with the ox. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna get into that. We ain't, we ain't gonna do it just yet. Stay tuned. So what we want to do? We're gonna start off with a word of prayer. Anytime I pray. You know, if you can just give me that soft pastor meditational music. I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> we just did it today. Uh, Father God, we love you. We thank you. We honor you. Uh, we ask right now, your loving son, Jesus name, that you just be all in this lesson so that we can receive a mighty blessing from you through Stefan Goodwin. In Christ Jesus name, we do pray. Amen. Uh, here we go. Here we go. So we, we are, uh. We are going into preaching chords, which I think he started off in the key of G. Mm -hmm. I got some questions for each key because he went to A, but there are some things that you did in B flat. There was a walk down. <laughs> We're going to get to y'all. We're mm -hmm. going to get to the walk down. So uh, let's start off with the key of G. Okay. Uh, uh, we know the scale of G, so we're not going to go through that, but... Uh, Let's go through just a couple things you like to do in the key of G. Okay. And if you want to play the clip again, you can to, you know, we can point, pick out some stuff. But if you just like some stuff that you like to do. Okay. So one of my biggest things in playing in any key is playing in and out of the key. So I don't know if you noticed, like um, when I was in G, I would do, which is in B flag, a one four in B flag. And the five will take me back home, or which is the three of B flat. So I like Can to. You teach us that movement. What's that? This right here. Okay. So, so um, the one flat three, uh, flat six or four in B flat. So if we was in B flat, one okay. four. Mm -hmm. One four and, and three. Then, so then we're back to that five, five and G, and G. Mm -hmm. to take us back back home. That's how, hey, yeah. everybody, I don't care what your name is. Add that to your play. <laughs> I don't even play no more when I'm adding that Sunday. Man, because that's... I'm going to be preaching, man. <laughs> what I'm you going to do? Over real quick. <laughs> I'm going to play something while I'm preaching. Yeah, and honestly, that's that's how I learned how to play in all 12 keys, is learning that they're all related in yeah, some way. Yeah. And so, like, if you're in G, you can go to E. Uh, so, I mean, and uh, one of my... Huge inspirations is um, a guy many know. Uh, his name is Michael Ross. A lot of times he'll be playing. And he'll go to that move on over the six, which, the, I mean, the way I think, I can go to E. I, can go, yeah. I really can go anywhere. It's all, and see, my, my plan is a lot about melodies and transitions. Gotcha. And so, and so, um, in playing for that preacher, I had a lot of space to do certain things. And he could hear, too. So no matter what I did, I would never throw his his hearing off. If that Got makes you. Sense. The yeah. only, his only yeah. thing was just make sure I wasn't too loud. Yeah. 
But, um, and then as you noticed in the clip, I had a lot of space in between his sentences. Right. It wasn't like he was like, uh, 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 you know what I'm so saying? So that's what I was going to say. When it when they're a lot quicker, mm-hmm. you don't have as much time to do certain mm-hmm. things. But, mm-hmm. so I noticed my nephew was playing behind a preacher similar to that. And he actually was preaching a little bit slower than him. Mm-hmm. But it allowed him to move and transition yeah. and yeah. put some things in between mm-hmm. because of the pace of where his cadence was right and another thing because i've seen and and here's my thoughts this is this is the way i approach it it's not a right or wrong but it's just this is the way yeah, I see yeah. it. every preacher is different some preachers when they first start hooping they want you to come in you know what i'm saying that preacher he preaches yeah, unless he's changed um he typically only preaches about 15 to 20 minutes every time Okay. So when he's Hoop or just whole sermon, whole sermon. Okay, yeah. So it used to be me. <laughs> say used to be. <laughs> so with him, I noticed when he was ready to hoop, it's time to go. Yeah. Now I wasn't like playing all over the top of him, just doing a bunch of drops and stuff like right. that. But right. the aggression was there to push him and help him deliver. Right, because you knew it was going to be short. Right, yeah. right. You don't have a lot of time, even though you had like a lot of time between sentences. The actual hooping time was not a long time. Right. So you knew where he wanted to go quickly. Right, right. But that's knowing your right, the preacher, it, yeah. Exactly. And that's the thing. It, which it you know, I don't know anybody who's just gonna start out playing for somebody the first time and just and really hit know. everything. Yeah. You know. And my pastor now, um, we'll get into a clip of me backing him up, his cadences is a lot shorter. Okay. So it's like I mean, I I still have time to do certain things, but I, I don't wanna be over what he's saying because uh, again, my philosophy on backing the preacher is helping him support his clothes. Exactly. And help him yeah. deliver his clothes. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm sorry. Sorry about uh, that. No, you good. So let me ask you a question then. So when it comes to playing, mm-hmm. uh, and, and we're going to get into some chords, I promise y'all, we're going to get into some chords, but I want to ask a question because this is important too, because although the chords are important, the mindset of what you're doing is also important. Mm-hmm. So I want to ask this question. <laughs> Is this guy's style, what style would you consider him? Baptist, Koji, what what style would you consider him? The, the one we just played? Yes. Yes, he's he's definitely Baptist. Okay. Definitely so Baptist. I was going to say Baptist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> now, the next one is going to be a little bit, is he going to be Baptist too? Well, he, he's going to be more Pentecostal, but okay. it's like short. So we want to show y'all the difference because mm-hmm. there is a difference. In there. So, for instance... Uh, when it comes to Baptist, mm-hmm. and I just want to throw this out there, it, and now look, all Baptists are not cr- created equal, so it right. might not be true for every situation. Right. And all Kojic but traditionally, ain't or yeah, Kojic as well, right. or even Pentecostal. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. traditionally, for Baptists, we talked about this earlier. They don't want you to come in, even no, if they, they don't no. care how hyped Mm-mm. the crowd is. Do not come in Mm-mm. until the hoop starts at Mm-mm. the end. There's there's only one preacher I've ever played for. That likes music all throughout the sermon. Me. And that's, he said, me. (laughs) You met him today. (laughs) So I've been blessed to to travel a few times with Bishop Rudolph McKissick. Yeah. His first thing, the first time I talked to him, the first thing he said was, listen, I'm Baptist, but I'm not your average Baptist preacher. Yeah. He gave me his keys. Keys, he called it D flat. Some place say C sharp, whatever. Uh, he was like, that's where I usually start. He said, put me in there. And any any point throughout the sermon where I'm getting to that point, even if it's not a full who, give me some support. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the way I Because see, here's the thing. A lot of people over-spiritualize this. It's still an art form. Yes. And and this is the thing. This is my overall view of music. Is And I got this from my god dad who taught me how to play. Everything is a conversation. Not, it is. And I'm not, and, and a conversation is yep. not a monologue. Yeah. Which means, you know, the preacher is talking, then I get a chance to say something and support what he says, then yeah. I'm falling out again. And, and the conversation that y'all are having support each other. Exactly. Exactly. And you are the support mm-hmm. to, and I, I say this to musicians all the time, and, and this is going to be really good, not just for the old musician, but this is really good for the young musician mm-hmm. because. When we're young, we know what we like to do. Mm-hmm. We like to chop. We like everything we hear. To move. I don't, that, mm-hmm. you know, but when we mature, we realize, no, nah, there's a cadence to what that person's doing. Mm-hmm. Let me follow that and compliment it. Mm-hmm. And so if you ever had a great conversation, you walk away feeling great. Mm-hmm. Now, 
there's bad conversations too. Oh God, yeah. To where you can get on this organ and, and not compliment anything, and guess what? Everybody's mad and frustrated. Yeah. You ever had a bad conversation? Everybody's Ooh. mad when they leave. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you don't want it to happen. Now that we have discussed that, I hear y'all. Let's get to the chords. I got you. We'll get to the chords. We'll get into the chords. Okay. All right. So let's let's go through these, some of these chords. Okay. So. So, uh, uh, so, and then, like I, like I said, melody is king. So that melody keep, was G. I'm keeping G in there. That person's still on G, so you were able mm -hmm. to do it. So my philosophy is, how many chords? And I got this from my mentor. His name is uh, Rocky Rayford. He's out of North Carolina. One of the best to ever play. I don't care. Fight me later. Um, <laughs> but he's he's is the thing that he does where he holds that one note and he plays a million chords that yes. have that note in it. So if, even though we're in G, you know what I'm saying, or just you know what I'm saying. Like this whole, that's that's the thing. So I mean, it's just like show us some chords. Show us the chords. <laughs> So, so instead of having to like slow down, spell it out, just hold it for a couple okay, seconds. Okay, I so got the you. First one. So the next 